let me start the session so i think remember in the last session uh, we discussed what is what on screen really the terms and terminology and we also discussed about the file formats so in this session first uh, i'll start with the commands the very basic commands which is commonly used and we'll deal with the template file how to create a new template file and uh, how to use the existing template file the metric uh, template file or english template file etc okay now the first point can make a note that is uh, zf zoom to fit uh, the second is zr zr is zoom in region in region and uh, the third command say tl thin line and uh, point number 4 here wt wt refers to tile window then command number 5 un you know un is a command for unit denoting it also the same here and uh, next is ms mechanical settings and here es electrical settings these are the commonly used command the other commands also we discuss don't worry i'll show you this how to use very simple quickly zf is zoom to fit zr zoom in region tl is a thin line wt wt is a, a tile window tile window un units ms mechanical settings es electrical settings now so the first for example i'm going to open this project some existing project just to explain these options so zoom fit is like zoom all in autocad in autocad you know zoom all not to that in revit uh, we have uh, zoom to fit for example if you want to get everything or if you want to send everything on the visible screen you can type z for example i'm going to zoom like this now if i want to get everything on the available screen simply type zf you see it's going to be set on the available screen the second option is zr zr is zoom in region region is like zoom window in autocad so you see when i type this zr you can notice on screen here the cursor will change to magnification glass right and with this i'm going to create a window and this portion is going to be zoom on the screen like zoom window again if you want to go back you can type zf zoom to fit right very simple next tl tl is for thin line for example you see when i zoom this you'll get this pipes or duct with some shades so when i type tl you can notice you see tl is tl is off thin line is off so you can you can able to see the shade when i type again tl thin line is on or else you can access this option from the view tab also you see click on the here from graphic panel here we have thin line thin line is on if i click view off you can see the shades okay if you switch on you will find the actual visibility okay so in actual practice at the time of uh, dealing with the project uh, generally we'll switch on the thin line to avoid confusion next uh, wt uh, wt can be used to set multiple windows on screen for example here on screen one 3d model or the model view that is 3d hvc building parallelly without closing this i'm going to open this level 1 so level 1 and without closing any of this two view i'm going to open this level 2 now all the active views you see this is on screen but this two also uh, active na no? but not visible so if you want to arrange all the active views on screen side by side simply you can type wt tile window so it will arrange in a uh, side by side uh, we have a tool also if you want to shuffle this for example if you want to take this view on the right side or this view on the right left side etc we have the tool that will discuss later at this level tile window if you open say four windows or five windows when you type wt it will going to is going to arrange uh, on the available screen okay now for example if i want to make this view to the full screen available in that case uh, the option is click on the view tab here click on the view tab from the window panel you see first of all you can find the style view the command is tl or you can access from here so you see it will shuffle when you click suppose i want to make this view again in the in the available screen so activate this by clicking in somewhere in the middle then click tab view so again you'll get the enlarged view okay okay and again if you click tile window will be well visible okay now one more point here for example again i'm going to select this 3d view and clicking on this tab view now i'm interested to close all the background views you see the background view is level 2 level 1 na so if you want to close all the background views we have this close inactive when you click this you see all the background views will so these are some options related to visibility next we have a command ms ms is for mechanical setting actually there are three ways to access mechanical setting at this level just i'm showing you the command so when you type ms you can find the window a pop up window on screen 
for what mechanical settings similarly when you type es you get the pop-up window for electrical settings right okay. so these are few commands apart from this when you type un you'll get the units yes. the common units or the unit for the hvac units for the electrical and on screen this project uh, with the english system so when you select hvac you can find here cooling load in tan and uh, the flow rate you'll get in cfm or if i select electrical uh, you'll find if you select electrical you'll find here this illuminance in fc not in lux lux is uh, for uh, metric system mm. okay so this unit belongs to english system but if you want you can change as per the requirement for example in metric system for some parameter if you want to use english or in english system if you want to use for some parameter for metric that can be done for example here for hv you see for duct size you see for duct size i'm interested to use mm but by default is inches because this project is in english system so by default it's a template file uh, with the uh, english system but here if you want to change to mm you can click this and you can able to change for example here millimeter and the units say mm millimeter means we'll get in millimeter if you want to get this symbol also you can select and decimal say zero generally we are taking zero now say 500 mm into this uh, 300 mm duct size or 1000 to say 400 mm so decimal i'm taking this zero precision or zero decimal place as per the service we can select this so click ok you can notice the duct size uh, is going to be in mm and all the available size with the tag it will automatically change after changing this one that we'll discuss later at this level just i'm focusing on the commands so these are the basic commands you can use and i request to memorize this commands the remaining commands uh, you'll get the idea but how to access the available commands simply click on this view tab and from the window panel here under user interface drop down you can find this keyboard shortcut and the shortcut for this keyboard shortcut is ks if you want you can make a note of this so when you type ks or when you click on the keyboard shortcut you'll get the window and you can find the predefined commands from autodesk for example see md is for modify pp is for property yesterday we discussed now. and even the vp also you can use for property or control one also you can use for property so you can assign multiple commands also for uh, one uh, tool okay but here you can notice all the commands whatever the predefined commands like align dimension di text tx etc vg is a visual graphics mm. uh, visibility graphics tl you know so you can notice all this command with the two alphabets so minimum you need to assign two alphabet because first alphabet for the command second alphabet act as a inter for the rivet because there is no command window no? in autocad you see we are using the com uh, entering the command then pressing the enter or space bar but here there is no option for space bar or enter so that's the reason minimum you need to define the two alphabets for one command so the second alphabet uh, with the first alphabet and second alphabet use as enter okay, to activate so you can access the remaining commands from here or else you can take the cursor close to the close to the tools for example here you see i'm taking the cursor close to the tool and you can find the command dt for the duct DT. see this is for flexible cv AV. and here this duct accessory is da but you'll not get the command for all the tools but if you want you can assign again from the same option click on the view say user interface uh, keyboard shortcut i'm interested to uh, provide a command for project browser you see so you can find this project browser here project browser there is no command now yes so simply select this and you can assign suppose i'm going to assign say pb is a command for project browser and i'm going to assign so it is already used for the fabrication so i'll use say pr so now when you type pr you'll get the project browser and click ok you, see, you can verify so you see pr the project browser is off and again pr it you can find on the screen okay these are very uh basics so i think you got the idea Mm-hmm.